What's up my fellow Nights in Darkness and welcome back to another album review of the channel. Today I'm very excited because we're going to be reviewing one of my favorite bands called Very Tomorrow with their new album called Cannibal which launched yesterday. So yeah, as many of you don't know, Very Tomorrow is one of my favorite bands because they were one of the first I got into and I gotta say they haven't disappointed them. I own three of their last four albums and boy, I gotta say, this is one of the best. It's a banger of an album, as we're going to see. But yeah, guys, uh, for the ones that don't know who Buried Tomorrow are, they are a UK metalcore band, and they are amazing. They have one of the best clean vocals, also screams, and very catchy riffs and choruses. So yeah, this album called Cannibal has 11 songs and a total range of 42 minutes. We're going to be reviewing the first the lyrical messages of the songs then the sound, the overall score and my favorite tracks so let's go my fellow mates in darkness so sound so first the lyrics yeah these are very dark and deep lyrics they, they, lead, they deal a lot, a lot with the melancholic side they, they express the, their view of the current situation of the world that we are seeing a decaying world in society, talking about the struggles in life and finding hope and strength to go on, but at the end giving up, you know, when you feel like choking inside. Also, they talk about feeling like the world is burning and it's full of hate and there's no reason to change for the good of men. So, you know, it's a lot of, you could say it's depressing in some ways, but I think it's the reality. In, in, at some point because we're seeing only chaos, destruction, especially this year and a lot of us are giving up, you know but we gotta keep our faith up, pray and keep our head up to go but yeah, we also talk about fighting against this internal voice that sometimes wants to pull us and drag us down, you know like somehow you want to keep your head up and Keep going but that little voice inside is, is telling you to go down that it's keeping you to it's keeping you to get to going on you know also they talk about the judgmental people when sometimes you're trying to reintegrate and they judge you and they see you with as your past mistakes or sins and you have to live with it with that bad mistakes and sin that you have done you know also deals about how it is our fault that the world is at it, as it is right now all the chaos, violence, corruption and it's true at some point, you know? also about losing hope and sanity and feeling alone and destroyed without hope, hopelessness, lonely also how this construct of religion and politics is making us blind to not see the reality of things and how this oblivion, oblivion is coming and how we are sometimes afraid of the world, you know? But yeah, it's very chaotic, depressive, dark, and it's, honestly, w when you start reading the lyrics, it's hard to swallow them, because they are very deep and, and dark, you know? But they are true. That's the reality of the world we're living right now in society. So yeah, the lyrics were very good. Then, sound-wise, woof, Ready Tomorrow knows how to deliver catchy riffs, some very melodic songs and those screams are amazing, you know? So yeah, sound wise from all the all the album, all the songs have a very aggressive fast pace. Fast pace, then they are very melodic. That's something that will describe this album very very good. Melodic. They have some very catchy riffs. Also very chuggy and groovy riffs with the guitars. The drums and bass deliver. The drums are very good also. And I gotta say the, the the vocals are what got me the most because the clean vocals are awesome, you know? They are one of the best in the metal genre, these clean vocals. And the screams are, are amazing. They, they are very diverse, you know? They have high screams and the low screams and the mid screams and they express the emotion in the songs. Some, you will see that some of the screams are more driven by anger, by anger, then also are more driven by emotion, passion, by inspiration. So yeah, they are very well performed. 
the mixing is also very good, it's very tight, you know, you, you can hear good the guitar, the drums and the vocals are amazing. So yeah, there are also a lot of ambient and atmospheric uh, elements included that make the album and the songs overall very good and some gent influences, but yeah, overall the, the sound of the album is, is very good. You don't feel like you are hearing the same song after the other, you know, because they are in a way that they are not like in some albums that you listen to one song and then the other and you feel like it's the same song, here, here it is, you know. So yeah, overall this was a very, even though they released fifth singles, five singles, I gotta say the, the new the new ones were also very amazing. I think I'm in love with the more with the new ones than the older ones. But overall, this album has everything you have you need. Also, I gotta I forgot to say that the breakdowns, the breaky breakies are there and they are brutal and heavy. So yeah, overall sound wise is amazing. Catchy riffs, very good catchy choruses. The clean vocals and screams are amazing and the breakdowns are cool yeah the lyrical content is very deep very dark but very real you know very true so yeah they're also very good so overall i gotta say it's a very good album i think i'm gonna be buying this for my city collection and yeah i'm gonna give it a 9.5 out of 10 because it was amazing i gotta say some of my favorite tracks were joke were choke because it's very aggressive from the start the Grey has also some very good cleans and guitar riffs. Very Below is more melodic and sentimental, also amazing. The Agonist, very heavy. Quake was more emotional and slow paced, but also very good. Voice and Truth, Cold Sleep, that brutal breakdown, you will see. And the last song, Dark Infinite, Oof, a banger of a song. And the best way to end this album because it has some very aggressive style and an awesome breakdown. But yeah, guys, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Listen to Bird Tomorrow if you haven't. Buy their new album because it's amazing. And thanks for watching, guys, Sam. Keep your head up for better days. And God bless you, let's go.